सो है गाइस वेलकम बैक टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम गोपाल गुलकर्णी फर्स्ट ईयर बी एस एम एस स्टूडेंट एट आईसर तिरुवनंतपुरम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट आईसर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट इट्स पेपर स्ट्रक्चर सम प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर एनालिसिस एक्सपेक्टेड डेट्स एंड अलॉट मोर सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द पेपर स्ट्रक्चर इन दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर यू विल हैव फोर सेक्शंस बायोलॉजी केमिस्ट्री मैथ फिजिक्स ईच सेक्शन विल कैरी फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन एंड ईच क्वेश्चन विल कैरी थ्री मार्क्स सो इन दिस वे यू हैव द वन एटी मार्क्स क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड देर इज ए नेगेटिव मार्किंग स्कीम फॉर ईच रॉन्ग क्वेश्चन वन मार्क विल बी डिडक्टेड फ्रॉम योर गेन्ड मार्क्स सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ क्वेश्चन पेपर now let us analyze the question paper what type of questions are expected uh, and let me clear all this is just based on previous year question papers analysis and nothing is defined okay uh, starting with the biology section if you see the ncert book you must have seen the 10 units in in which the book is divided and each unit consists of 3 to 4 chapters so you will in iser aptitude test you will find at least one question from each unit uh, some units are important like uh, genetics and evolution also the uh, plant physiology in plant physiology its uh, photosynthesis and uh, respiration are two more, more important chapters in animal physiology uh, this animal physiology unit is also important in this unit the locomotion and uh, neural control and coordination are the chapters that are important also the reproduction unit and the cell cycle and cell division unit are important so to compensate the 15 questions you will see two to three questions coming from these important units so let's talk about the chemistry part chemistry is very nicely divided uh, it's five questions from organic five questions from inorganic and five questions from physio physical chemistry for five questions from inorganic you will find two questions based on reactions two questions uh, in another two questions they will give you a molecule and you have to decide its acidity basicity aromaticity and uh, boiling point and all that parameters and one question will be a general question based on the nomenclature or a structure of molecule or something that is generalized information about in organic chemistry so next five questions that are from inorganic uh, in those question you will find that p block and df block are from 12th part are more important also the part of Uh, ionic equilibrium chemical equilibrium from 11th is also important so the last five questions are from physical chemistry and you will find that uh, in overall chemistry 80% questions are from 12th portion and only 20% questions are from 11th portion this is only for chemistry not for other subjects so let us talk a little bit about maths even though i am a pcmb student i am weak at maths so so the people like me or the peoples from pcb background i will suggest them not to go for hard chapters like derivative integration trigonometry don't look at them they require a lot of revision practice and a lot of time these people can go for easy chapters like uh, complex number sequence and series permutation combination binomial theorem Uh, linear programming problem also the 3d geometry it is same as vectors in physics i would like to suggest in this chapters also don't go for higher level like je advance or je mains uh, it is enough if you will prepare up to your state cet level your respective state cet level examination uh, that's enough so let us talk about physics part Uh, one question from units and measurement is compulsorily asked in every previous year question paper other important parts in physics are mechanics electrostatics and current electricity magnetism atomic structure modern physics and thermodynamics all these section will cover 13 to 14 questions from physics and one or two other remaining one or two from other remaining parts like uh, fluid mechanics and wave mechanics etc So this is what I analyzed in previous year question papers. Uh, I will put the link down in the description for all the previous year question papers to provide it to you. 
you can analyze it on your own also to customize your own studies in that direction according to your backlog remaining chapters and what you have to cover in remaining days uh, talking about the date of examination, the date of examination for NEET is declared as 1 August. So you can expect your ICER aptitude test either at 8 August or in on the 15th July. So this is the expected date. So you have 4 to 5 months to prepare for your exam. And talking about the cutoff, ICER officially do not disclose any cutoff for any ICER. Even they don't disclose the marks that you get in your examination. But by researching some websites and my previous year experiences, it is nearly 100 to 120 for getting into ISERs like ISER Pune and ISER Kolkata. Uh, other ISERs are nearly expected to be 75 to 100 marks. Uh, this, is the, this is for unreserved category. So this was the video about ICER aptitude test. If you like the video, press that like button. It means a lot to me. If you have any queries, doubts or comments, you can comment below. Also in the description box, I have given the link for the previous year question papers. Uh, it is from 2017, 18, 19, 20. So see you in the next video. Have a nice day.